Hello, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to another pro tip video. This week I've come out to the fourth hole at Glen Hill Golf Club. As if you don't know, it's a beautiful par five. There's a slight dog leg to the right hand side. And more often than not, our second shot, we're gonna be faced with a ball which is positioned below our feet. Now, first of all, how is that gonna have an impact on our ball flight? The first thing it's gonna to wanna to do is gonna make the ball wanna to go to the right hand side. It's even gonna to wanna to make it curve further to the right hand side. Um, reason being is that when we swing the golf club now, it's gonna be generally, we're gonna lose a lot of our lower half, which is responsible for generating obviously more of a turn, more rotation uh, and a stronger ball flight. This is now gonna to lead to more of an arm sort of swing. It's gonna be generally a lot weaker. We're not gonna get the, the carry distance we normally would. So the first adjustment is you might wanna club up a little bit more. I've got 195 yards to the flag there. I'd normally use a six iron, but because of the lie, I'm gonna to change to a five iron to hopefully give me that total distance I need, okay? So as I just mentioned, the ball is gonna to wanna to move to the right hand side. So we need to align ourselves more to the left. How far to the left we go is gonna be determined by the severity of the lie in front of us. So I've got quite a severe lie here. So I'm gonna allow for that. I'm gonna aim a little bit further left. Uh, for anyone who has played this hole, you'll notice that the, you'll remember that the first green generally is a good sort of line to take, which should help you get back to the, our intended target line. Okay, so probably about 20 yards left of the target. I'm going to aim more up that left hand side. I'm going to create a wider lower half. This is going to create more stability, which we needed, which I spoke about earlier. We're going to lose that if we stand quite narrow. So sit back into the shot a little bit more, a wider lower half aim down the left hand side and club up a little bit stronger let's give that a go let's see if we get on go up the left nice and wide and that's just what we wanted straight down the left hand side with a bit of curvature and that should be close to our target hope this bit of advice helps uh, be sure to tune in next week we will look at another diff a different lie and how we can compensate for that until then all the best and bye for now